It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Bubba Extreme. It's 16% ABV. It's been aged in cognac barrels. Fantastic. It's bottle number 168. And there's not, I know there's not that many bottles about. It's been wrapped in a nice sleeve. I just can't wait. I love the first one. I thought it was fantastic. Or, or not the first one, but the one I chose to drink. Uh, I've had one so far. I think that was the whiskey. I think I did the whiskey. Jack, maybe Jack. Bur I think I did the bourbon one. Maybe, maybe. If not, we'll check later on. Okay, so. Whoa. Yeah, looking forward to this. Thank you to the viewer in Poland for sending me such, such rare beer. Wonderful. Really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Look at that. That's how beer used to be, yeah? In corks. Boom! Look at that. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. There's a look at the cork. I'm using the same glass as I did in the last review, but I love it. I think it's the perfect style glass for this type of beer. Let's give it a pour. It's by Brother Shalau Peef. Love their beers. Look at that. Listen. Yeah, the, for me, Brother Schlaupief brew some unbelievable beer. It's it's utmost top quality. Amazing sours. Uh, the 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 regular bubba. The the it's it's I think it's a barley wine. It's incredible. This this other bubba the scream was really really good as well. Um, I have I have had other beers from them. Uh, I was in Poland two years ago and I had a raspberry, I think I had a raspberry sour and that was just pink and beautiful. Really good stuff. So anyway, yeah, look at that. That tells its own story. Look at the way the carbonation is chasing the beer up the head. Great lacing on the glass as you rock the beer around. It's more or less a jet black beer in the glass with a tan coloured head. Let's get the aroma on this wonderful looking beer then. Oh, it's good. Really good. I like a drop of cognac. Not all of the time, but I recognise it. I recognise the cognac barrel in the beer. The cognac barrel is not in the beer, but uh, you know, you know what I mean. It smells like silk. It smells like smooth. It smells like it wants to slip down my throat. It's wood, lots of wood, lots of cognac. Ah, it's, it's an ice box. So it's a German technique where you freeze the beer and you take the ice blocks out and then that kind of concentrates the beer up to, in this case, 16%. Should we dive in? Cheers. Close your eyes. Sit back in the chair. Think about your favorite thing in the world. Have a sip of this. Hold it in your mouth. Let it slip down your throat. Grab the glass again with your eyes closed, still thinking about your favourite thing. Smell it. Caress it. This is unbelievable. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a great, great beer. I 
I could smell the smoothness in the beer. Somehow. Probably because I tasted the, the one previous. But the beer is so silky smooth. It, it, it's got a little bit of... It's a nutty smoothness. There's a nuttiness coming from the malts. Which I think is fantastic because it's still a beer. It's still fundamentally a beer when you get lots of malt in the taste. And I love that. Then it goes over to the, the, the cognac, the, the, the barrels, the vanilla, the, the cognac, of course. Um, a little bit of alcohol taste in the... Uh, a warmth, really. Alcohol warmth in the throat and it slips down inside of the stomach. I drink... I drank a 7% beer two days ago that tasted more alcoholic than this 16% beer. And when you do that, you realise the beer's rough. When you taste a 7% beer and you, all you're tasting really is alcohol, it's really rough. You know, it's, 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 it's un, un, not uncared for, but there's something not quite right about it. 16%? All you're getting is smoothness and silkiness and nice carbonation and lots of flavour and it's masking the alcohol. Absolutely bloody perfect. Fig, plum, nuttiness, raisin, lots of vanilla, lots of cognac, biscuity malt. Nice bitter hop finish on the back end. This is staggering. Absolutely bloody staggering. Look at it. I mean, look. Silky smooth. Could this be an early contender for beer of 2017? And we're in the second week of January. Bubba Extreme, Cognac Barrel Age, bottle number 168. Let's give it a rating, 16% ABV. It looks fantastic. It smells fantastic. And it tastes just glorious. <coughs> 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.